Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to create a new data view using the Sightline Workbench Suite. Today I'm going to show you how to create a new data view. We're going to select two different data sources or IDOs and link them and then we'll add data properties that will be displayed in your data views. To open our data views we'll open up the form Data Views Setup. Take our filter off and to create a new data view, we'll press the New key, or you can use the Control n hotkey. We usually give our data views a name that can keep them separate from the standard data views that come with Sightline. And today we're going to create a data view that shows projects and the related project tasks. So we'll create the name, and down here in the IDO setup, we'll select a data source. And we're going to look for our projects, and notice that the projects IDO starts with SL. We're going to talk more about how to actually find the IDO you're looking for uh, in a different video from this. There's our projects. And notice once we get our IDO, on the right side of the pane, we've got all the data elements or properties that we can choose from. And let's choose a couple here. We'll choose the bill to name. How about the customer number? Maybe the project date. Project description. And project number. We'll come over here, we'll save this, either using our save icon or the control S hotkey. And we'll take a look at that, launch that and see what that looks like. And there we have created our first data view. Okay, let's close that. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add another IDO onto this data view. And we started with projects. Let's take a look at project tasks. Similar to projects, it'll be SL. Find our project tasks. And the one thing we've got to do when we join multiple IDOs is we have to make a relationship. So we have to tell this what is the parent IDO of project tasks. And in this particular case, it's going to be projects. So let's actually save that. And then let's go into our IDO setup because what we're going to need to do is define the relationship between these two. So my IDO that I'm working on is project tasks. My parent IDO is SL projects. It's going to be a multi-level IDO and I'll explain that a little bit later. Parent property itself is going to be the uh, project number. How am I going to link these together? And you can just copy and paste from that. Don't forget to add this. So this comes down here and says the relationship between my projects and my project tasks is my project number matches. Eh, that's good enough for now. So let's do that. We'll save this. Notice I'm modified. I'm going to hit save or control S. Okay, so now that I have joined the two IDOs, I want to add some properties or data elements to my task level columns. See the effective date, the expiration date. That's essentially the start and the end date. And we'll go down here and let's do the status, the task num, the description. All right, we'll do that and we'll save this. And let's take a look and see what it looks like. There's my lines. If I extend this, I get to see my task lines and I get my start and end date and all there. And now I can actually take this and start to drag it around and put it in an order that I'd like. 
extend it out here. Now we've created a multi-level data view. Thanks for watching. We hope this video tutorial was useful to you.